well done. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of How to Be an Athlete. Today we are going to focus on the number one, not the number one, I won't say that, but something very crucial for you that will build, if you're especially if you're a beginner, that will build all around conditioning and strength for you. The power sled. Now, not everybody has a power sled, but a majority of you do have a car. And find a friend, put it in neutral, and get to pushing. Or pulling, if you can do that, if you have a harness, you know. But the reason why a power sled is so good is because you can get so much done. You can do a full workout with a power sled. We're not gonna do a full workout today, but I'm gonna teach you some things, or not, I'm gonna teach you why it's so important. So back here, we have our power sled all about what you do with your body what I like to do sometimes is I like to do tempo marches or you get right here you don't sprint with it you just focus on single leg press push boom, 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 boom. and the reason why I like to do that is when it comes to really focusing on the power output just one rep at a time with, with one single leg that's very beneficial for it. Now, what is speed? Is the strength brought into process, right? If you're strong, you're gonna have some speed. I mean, you might not be the fastest, but you can be the fast, strongest person in the world, but I mean, you're gonna be the, the speediest person in the world. There are principles that come into play, but just know the stronger you become, the faster you can sprint, all right? So let's go over some sled things we can do to help ourselves get a lot better. So starting off, we can do, what, 10 yard dashes, 20 yard, you know, for me, I like to focus on short bursts, um, break it down in accelerations, and then extend it as time goes on. This week, we're gonna do 10 yard bursts, right? We wanna focus on um, speed, strength, and conditioning. So, let's get to it. So you do a down and back, and we're gonna do five sets down and back. Try to stay low, stay in that acceleration, that drive phase. Bring that knee up, put that force into the ground. Propel yourself forward. Heart's already racing, baby. The hardest thing about being an athlete is fighting that lactate which is that burning sensation you get that makes you heavier, makes your legs heavier, harder for you to move. We have to break that threshold and work through it to get better. So we have to constantly push ourselves, push our lungs, push our legs, our body, when you just wanna flat out, you know, die, basically. It's about pushing yourself past that point. Growing up in football, we didn't have a choice. If we were tired, it didn't matter. You know, we had to continue to go on until coach said we were done. So keep that in mind. Don't stop because you want to. Stop when you think you've done enough, when you know you've done enough. So something else you can do, of course, is backward pulls. A lot of burn on the quads. Just grab it, take a small step back. Boom. great quad builder also something great when at the end of a workout I like to do prowlers at the end of a workout or sleds power sleds at the end of a workout because I still get that strength work and get that conditioning work as well Woo. it's not even a lot of weight they burn it all right so one, one more exercise you can do is an upper body exercise Grab this, put some ropes on it, and you just pull. It's crucial to have back strength because you need that for posture, staying in that, you wanna be in a straight line, you want your spine to be straight, you want your muscles to stay together, so you stay in that direction, right? Doing back exercises 
having an explosive pool, you know, also helps with cleans, hang cleans, snatches, but it helps with that rebound effect of the elbow and running or jumping. That hard pull right here helps us propel forward, up or forward, wherever, just like this. Boom, you have to go like this before you go like that. You can't jump and just, you know what I'm saying? There's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Versus, so that hard pull back will help with that. So we're just gonna do about five reps, hard pulls. There are a lot of ways you can use a prowler or whatever you want to call it. Uh, upper body, lower body, doesn't matter. Good for conditioning, good to end a workout, good to get your heart rate up, good to burn fat, build lean muscle, something you should definitely add into your routine. This is something I've stood by when it comes to conditioning work and excelling my athletic abilities. And I believe 100% that this should be added into your program, but so, something to add on. There's gonna be a lot of these. So stay tuned, like and subscribe to the channel. Please, we've been doing great, let's keep it up. A-Clan all day, and uh, we're 